Hey, so I'm Liz and my hair's a mess. <laughs> I'm Liz and I'm an artist with Mascara Beauty. And today I'm gonna take you through a tropical eye tutorial I did for a live on a group event, but I got a lot of great feedback on it so I thought I would record it for everyone else. So, as I said before, I'm an artist with Mascara Beauty. This is something that I have loved, loved, loved doing. It's all cream-based makeups. It made such a huge change in my life as well as um, my face, everything, uh, you know, my skin. It was just, it's just a fantastic line of makeup. And then I became an artist for them because why not? I'm sharing it all the time anyway. Why not jump online and share it with everybody else? So if you're ever interested in getting a custom color match from me, please feel free to click the link in my bio or send me a DM. If you're ever interested in our artist program, we're always looking for people who love this makeup and wanna share it with the world. So feel free to send me a DM or drop a comment below uh, artist and I will send you info. So let's get started. So first I'm gonna take my detail hack brush and I'm just going to put a light layer of my highlight color, my lightest color of highlight. And I'm gonna put that on my eyelid all over just as a primer and a all over base for my eyelid. Just to prep it, um, I, eyeshadow adheres better to your eye when there's a good primer. Just think of it like painting your walls. If you were gonna paint your walls a color, you would definitely want to prime them first. You wanna do the same with your eyelids. So, first things first, we're gonna start with this color called Valencia. I'm gonna use my eyeshadow everything brush, and we're just gonna do a wash all over our eyelid, almost up to our brow bone, but not quite. Kind of holding back on the brush a little bit. Um, just because if you hold up closer to the end, you're gonna get a more concentrated color. I'm just trying to do a wash right now of color. So I'm just holding back on my brush. This eyeshadow everything brush, by the way, is literally everything. I love, love, love this brush. It is just amazing. Um, I can do my entire eye with just this brush. I don't need any other brush at all. Um, to do anything for just almost all my everyday looks, I can use just this brush. So it's super versatile, has, as you can see, another end to it. That's the smudgier end. I use that up under my brow bone. I use it underneath my eye as well. It's just an all over, really good um, all over brush. I don't know what else I can say about it. It's, it's great. Okay, now we're gonna go into this color called Leo. It's a little bit brighter um, of a color and we're going into the crease and above and over. Um, when you're doing crease color, it's a good idea. It's a good idea to remember to keep your eyes open so that you don't have all the makeup disappear into the crease. So if you imagine if you did it shut and you put it all in the crease and you open, you're not gonna be able to see that makeup. Sorry, let me fix my camera real quick here. I can see the fan in the camera and I don't like that. It's very distracting for me, so I can imagine it's distracting for you. Okay, just tap in. These are highly pigmented colors. Leo um, is a nice bright um, orange color. And so as you can see, as it goes onto my eye, it's just a gorgeous orange color, but very pigmented. I'm also dragging it under my eye as well. And all of our tins here um, are all magnetic. They pop in and out of these compacts. We have so many gorgeous compacts. And so that way, when I'm done with the color, I just pop out the color that um, is finished and I pop in a new shade. Um, so gone are the days of me buying these big expensive palettes of color and I use three or four colors out of it and then um, throw the whole palette away when I'm done because I won't use the other colors that came with it. This is a fantastic way to just customize your colors and your palettes. I have tons of eye looks so I can mix and match. I make up my own like this little one right here. It's just my own little palette I created. Okay, so next we're gonna take our multitasker brush and we're gonna go into this um, lip and cheek color called Scarlet. I know it's a lip and cheek and that might be scary that I'm gonna put it on my eyes because it's also red. But we're gonna do this nice sunset tropical eye look. 
And I'm just gonna go right above my crease with it. Don't be scared, this is gonna look fine. I'm just kind of going almost into the center, well not into the center, into the corner and out with this color. I'm just kind of gonna blend this in with the Leo. Then I'm gonna bring it down also under my eye. I love a good Hawaiian sunset and these colors just put together reminded me of a Hawaiian sunset. And I know red can seem scary to put under your eyes, but trust me, this is gonna blend out super, super nice. So why am I putting a lip color on my eyes? Well, we have a pretty dark color that's not as red as this, but it's called Zion and it's more of a dark maroon. It reminds me of red dirt. Um, but this is much more red as the color you know, says, it's scarlet. So this gives me a nicer, bolder red look that I'm looking for and smudged out along the bottom looks great on eyes in my opinion. And that's literally how versatile the makeup is, is I'm using a lip and cheek color on my eyes. I probably use some of these colors more on other parts than what they were originally intended for, but that's the beauty of it. You can do that. Now I'm gonna take that eyeshadow everything brush and I'm just going to blend it up and out. And I'm also gonna smudge it underneath. See how that made like a, you know, we're going from a lighter orange all the way into the red very sunset-like, in my opinion. You want to get that nice orange to burnt orange sky, like a fire sky, oh, so beautiful. And if you never have seen a Hawaiian sunset, jump on my uh, IG, or not my IG, on my newsfeed, my newsfeed, my feed of my Instagram, and I'm sure I have posted a picture of it beautiful Hawaiian sunset on there somewhere. I know I've certainly shared one of my stories, so. Um, okay, so next I'm gonna go in with this bright color called Bayou. So this is gonna remind me of the water here in Hawaii. It's just this gorgeous uh, turquoise color. And that's exactly what the water's like here. And I'm going from the corner to about the center. We're gonna do the same on this side. And if you wanted to get crazy, you could also run this turquoise color under your eye too. I'm not going to do that today, but you could also do that. Okay. Alrighty, so now we just Quick change. This little sponge is great for quick changes on color. I'm going to take this color right here. This is called Rome. It also reminds me of the sand here. And I'm just going to do a little bit up here under my brow. It, it matches my skin tone pretty well. So I think this makes a nice um, it's shimmer color. So it kind of makes it pop. Just make sure you blend that in really well to the red. And you kind of have like this gradient where you've gone from these really beautiful orange colors into the red and then back in the sand. Plus you have the blue color of the water. Okay, lastly, we're gonna take that smudger end again and I'm gonna tap into this white shimmer color called Unicorn. And I'm gonna just put it right here in the corner makes your corner pop out a little bit more, widens the eyes up. And then I think for another little bit of, um, you can take a little bit on the end of your fluffier end and just kind of drag it across the inside color that by you, just to soften that a little bit if you want. You can leave it very vibrant if you want, but if you wanna soften it, make it look more muted, more oceany I guess you could say like it's kind of glistening with the light on the water you can run 
that unicorn right over top of it. And then I'm just gonna take my smudgier end again and I'm gonna go into this Valencia color here again and just add a little bit more right in here. Can you see how I'm doing that? I'm just adding a little bit more on this outer corner here. And I'm blending it right into the bayou. Just kind of blends everything together. Then we're gonna take, we're gonna clean this up a bit. I'm gonna take the Buffy brush, the smaller end, and I'm gonna dab into my lightest highlight color. And I'm just gonna go right under my eye here. We're gonna just give a little lift to our eye, but also just clean up any fallout we might have had there. This brush is great for doing that. And I think it also just kind of gives you that instant eye lift with the highlight color combined with this brush. It allows you to get a nice sweep in there. But just see how that just cleaned all that up and just lifted my eyes up. I just love doing that when I'm done with my makeup. I love the difference that it makes. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna add some mascara and then I'll be right back to show you the end. Okay, this is it. This is the finished product. So we have a nice uh, Hawaiian sunset eye. We used a lip and cheek color. We used eyeshadow colors. I like to use all the colors. <laughs> I love eyeshadow looks with multiple, multiple colors. There they all are. I will put up the color list in the end when I'm done, but that's it. Super simple. It was quick and easy too. That was 10 minutes, but I was talking the whole time. You can do that super quick. It's no big deal. Anyway, if you have any questions, need a custom color match, need any help, just want some eyeshadows, feel free to DM me or click the link in my bio to shop at our Get Color Match. Okay, thanks for watching.